Welcome to our lecture online. Another very typical type of problem you may run into is something like this, where you have two posts of unequal height. You try to put a string between the two posts, but the string must touch the ground somewhere between the two posts. What is the shortest string you can string up in such a way where you have it from the top of the first post to the ground to the top of the second post, assuming that you can make the string straight? If the distance between the posts is 10 feet, and we call this distance x and this distance 10 minus x, where is the location right here? Where do we put the, the rope on the ground? What's the distance x from the left post? And what is the length of the rope? Let's try to find that. So we've already drawn the diagram, which is nice. So the next thing we need to do is determine what's being maximized or minimized. In this case, we're trying to minimize the length of the rope. And we need an equation. So in this case, we can say that the length of the rope is equal to the sum of the two sections, so L1 plus L2. Now, of course, we need to define what L1 and L2 is. Here we can see that L1 is going to be the square root of the 6 foot square and x squared. So L is equal to the square root of 6 squared, which is 36, plus x squared. And we add to that L2, which is the square root of 64, which is 8 squared, plus 10 minus x squared. And of course, if we write this out, we get the length to be equal to the square root of 36 plus x squared, plus the square root of 64 plus 100 minus 20x plus x squared. And now we're ready to take the derivative of that and set the derivative equal to zero. So we skipped steps four and five since we did not have any constraints unless you consider this to be the constraint. And so now we go directly to step six where we take the derivative L prime, which is equal to one half times the derivative of what's inside here, which is two x divided by the square root of that. So the square root of 36 plus x squared plus here we get one half times the derivative of what's inside, which would be minus 20 plus 2x divided by the square root of what's here, which is 164 minus 20x and plus x squared. So now we have the derivative of the length. We're going to set that equal to zero and solve for the unknown x. So we come up here, step seven, so set L prime equal to zero and solve for x. So that means we have zero is equal to one half times two, of course, cancels out. So we end up with x divided by the square root of 36 plus x squared. And here we have, I'm going to put the minus there. So we have minus by half times this. This becomes, of course, a plus and this becomes minus. So we have 10 minus x, because we put the negative in front here, so this becomes plus, this becomes minus, and we divide everything by 2, and divide this by the square root of 164 minus 20x and plus x squared, like this. All right, how do you solve that for x? Well, we can separate the two now, and we can square both sides to get rid of the radical. So let's do that. So on the left side, we get x divided by the square root of 36 plus x squared is equal to the right side. So when we move that across, that becomes 10 minus x divided by the square root of 164 minus 20x plus x squared. Square on both sides. This becomes x squared divided by 36 plus x squared. On the right side, we get 100 minus 20x plus x squared divided by 164 minus 20x plus x squared. Now we have to cross multiply. It's not going to be as bad as you think because some things will cancel out luckily. So let's do that. We have x squared times x squared. We get x to the fourth. x squared times this is minus 20x cubed. This times this is plus 164x equals. 
on the right side. x times this is this x to the fourth. This times this is minus 20x cubed plus 100x squared. Now we multiply this times that plus 36x squared. That would be minus 720x and plus 3600. Wow, good thing we're able to cancel out some like terms. So x to the fourth, x to the fourth, minus 20x cubed, minus 20x cubed. Now moving all the terms over to one side, let's move everything to the left side. And let's see here, did I forget a square here? I think I did, this should be a square because it's x squared times 164. All right, there we go. So moving this and this to the left side, that's 164 minus 136, that's 28x squared. Moving this over, that becomes plus 720x. Moving that over, it's minus minus 3600. Let's see here. I think we can divide everything by 4. If we do that, we get 7x squared plus, uh, let's see, that's 360, that's 180. x minus 900 equals 0. And now I can solve that for x. That's not too bad. So we get uh, 180. So x equals minus 180 plus or minus the square root of 180 squared minus 4ac, because it's negative, becomes plus 4 times 7 times 900, all divided by 2a, which is 14. Okay, we're not going to use the negative option because that will give us a negative number, which doesn't make a lot of sense here. So what we're going to do is only use the positive option. So we end up with 180 squared plus 4 times 7 times 900. Take the square root, that's 240. All right, so we get minus 180 plus 240 divided by 14, which is equal to 60 divided by 14, which is equal to 30 divided by 7. And 30 divided by 7 is 4.286 meter. Uh, that's feet, right? 4.286 feet. So now we know the location where the rope has to touch the ground, x being equal to 4.286 feet, in order to have the shortest length strength. Now we still need to find the length, which means we have to plug that value back into this equation here to find the length. So this is equal to the square root of x squared plus 36. Let's do that. So we square that number plus 36, take the square root, and we end up with 7.37. The first L, L1, and for L2, we take 10 minus 4.286. We're going to square that plus 64, take the square root, and we end up with 9.83. So that means the first section here, L1, is 7.37 feet. The second section, L2, is 9.83 feet. And if you add that together, that's, uh, let's see here, that's 17.2 feet for the minimum length string that's able to touch the tops of both posts and touch the ground somewhere in between the two posts. And that is how it's done.